and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. We're going to go through six story problems and see how we can use models, both fraction towers and pattern blocks, in order to solve um, addition and subtraction problems with unlike denominators. So let's pretend that you needed one cup of one half cup of white sugar and one fourth cup of brown sugar for a recipe. You could use a model to figure out how much that was altogether. So in each one of these models that is using fraction towers, I've displayed the one whole so that you can get an idea of what part of the whole it is. It helps us see to visualize fractions as we go through. So here's the one half cup of white sugar, and here's the one fourth cup of yellow sugar, and we've stuck them together. But we've learned that we can only add fractions um, if the denominators are the same. And right now we, we don't know what to call this fraction when we see halves and fourths of the same thing. So we're going to make a swap or an exchange. And we're going to think about how can we change the pieces so that they're all the same color. Well, I can't make this one pink because it's too small. The, the pink piece would go out too far. So I'm going to think about could I make this one yellow? And we know that we can. We can swap this one half piece for two yellow pieces, two fourths, because one half is equivalent to two fourths. So we've made an exchange, and now we can easily add two fourths plus one fourth to get three fourths. Remembering that we don't add denominators, we just add numerators. So one half plus one fourth cup of sugar is three fourths cup of, cups of sugar. So in this example, we see that you make an exchange so that the fractions can have the same denominator. Here, now they both have four as their denominator. If in one evening you spent one-sixth of an hour on your math homework and one-third of an hour on your reading homework, you could model that with the pattern box um, hexagon pieces. Remember that the yellow hexagon is one whole, and here the triangle, the green triangle, is one-sixth of the whole, and the blue um, rhombus is one-third of the whole. So one-sixth plus one-third, we've got to figure out what fraction that is. Now we can't add them yet because they're not the same denominator. So we want to make an exchange so that they're both the same color piece or have the same denominator. I can't make this one blue because it's too small. The blue piece is bigger than that. So I'm going to think about could I make both of these, this the, romp, the blue rhombus green, and I can. I can make an exchange for the one-third piece, turning it into two-sixths or two green triangles. So now I have the one-sixth here, and the one-third is shown right here with the two-sixths. And when I add one-sixth plus two-sixths, I see that the, um, the answer is three-sixths. The sum is three-sixths. And I hope that you realize that this is one half of the hexagon, seeing that this is also a one half fraction. So you'd have to simplify it to one half of an hour. So this means altogether you spent one half hour on your homework. Next, we're talking about um, if you got an allowance and you spent one third of your allowance on snack food and you spent half of your allowance on to play video games at the mall. How much are you spending of your allowance altogether? You can again use hexagon pattern block pieces in order to figure this out. The one third is represented here by the blue piece and one half is represented by the red piece. And then I'm gonna think, can I make an exchange so that they're all the same color so that I can add them easily having the same denominators? Well, if I try to make this one red, it's too small. I can't, it'll it would have an overlapping piece. And if I tried to make this one blue, it would come about here, and then I'd have this other triangle piece that I wouldn't know what to do with. So I can't make either one red or either, all. I can't make all of them red or all of them blue. So I'm gonna, sometimes you have to make an exchange for both fractions, change the denominators or the color in this case of both fractions in order to get a common denominator. So the piece that I could use here would be sixths. The one-third could be exchanged for two-sixths. So that's showing here, one-third changed to two-sixths, made an exchange. And the one-half could be exchanged for three-sixths, right here. So I've made this exchange, the one-half changes to the equivalent fraction, which is three-sixths. So now I'm adding two-sixths 
plus 3 6, which I can do because they have common denominators, and I get 5 6 of your allowance you are spending. We can make the same kind of exchanges if we are doing a subtraction problem. So one day Mr. E ran 7 eighths of a mile and I kind of got tired and only ran one half of a mile. And if we want to figure out how much more did Mr. E run than, uh, than I did, we could use this model. Um, I ha again have the one whole piece and I represented Mr. E's 7 eighths of a mile and my one half of a mile. And when we do a subtractor problem we can think about it like a difference what part of it is different here. Again, we can't do a subtraction problem with fractions unless we have common denominators. So we have to think, could I change the pieces, make an exchange so that they're all the same color or same denominator? And I can see here that I could change the one half piece so that they are blue pieces or eights. So I'm gonna make an exchange for the one half and turn it into four eighths. Now I can do 7 eighths minus 4 eighths, and you can see that the difference here is 3 eighths. So Mr. E ran 3 eighths of a mile more than I did. Uh, if you did a science experiment and you decided that you would change, that your independent variable would be how much, if whether or not you gave water to a plant. You planted two plants, one got water, one didn't get water. So the thing that you changed was how much water they got, and the thing that you measured, your dependent variable, was how tall they were. So the plant that you put water on had two, grew to be two-thirds of a foot, and the plant that you didn't put any water on grew to be one twelfth of a foot tall. So we are trying to figure out what's the difference between the growth of those two plants. So we can model it with fraction towers. I'm showing the two thirds here of the taller plant, the one with water, and one twelfth here. Now I can't subtract them until my denominators are the same in order to figure out what this difference is right here. So I'm going to make a swap and I'm going to think about could I swap it so that they're all black pieces, the smaller one. Um, is there something in thirds, is, is one third equal to some amount of um, twelfths? And two thirds is equal to eight twelfths. The way that you figure that out is that one third is equal to four black pieces or four twelfths, and this third is equal to four twelfths, so four twelfths plus four twelfths would give you eight twelfths, and those eight twelfths are shown here. And then now we, that we have the same denominators, we can go ahead and subtract. 8 twelfths minus 1 twelfth, the difference would be 7 twelfths of a foot. So the plant with water was 7 twelfths of a foot taller than the plant without water. For my last problem, I'm going to use pattern block pieces again. Um, you are doing a project in Stitching Club and you, ha you bought two thirds of a yard of fabric for your project. Well, your first project used half of the yard of the fabric, and you want to figure out how much is left. So you can represent the two-thirds of a yard here. Here's a third and another third. And then you need to think about taking away one-half. Well, I don't have any piece that's exactly equal to one-half, so I'm going to have to make an exchange. I'm going to change the two-thirds into four-sixths, one, two, three, four, six, there's the one third and another third. And now I can think about taking away one half or something equal to one half. So I'm gonna think about that one half would be equal to three six. And I would find a way to, I would now have to wanna take away three of those six. So in order to do that, I can just do an erase here. Alright, I've taken away 3 6, which you can see is the same size as one half of the hexagon, and I'm left with 1 6 of a yard of fabric remaining. 1 6 of a yard. So in all these problems, we have used a model in order to subtract fractions and add fractions with unlike denominators. The next video will show you how to use the um, least common multiple in order to do it without a model.